Greetings, my fellow normies. I hope you're doing well today. This is Scott, your host, just a normie. And if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And today we have um, some information that's coming out of Marvel Studios that Michael Fassbender is joining the MCU, but not as Magneto. Kind of weird, right? And stuff. I'm kind of disappointing because I actually like Michael Fassbender. He was a very convincing uh, Magneto and stuff. I liked Ian McKillen and stuff, but uh, he was already aged for his time and all that. And um, I'm I'm uh, kind of mixed on this. Um, I really really enjoyed the character and stuff. They really did a really good um, backdrop in his origin. And stuff that he was brought he was a german jew that was um brought into the camps and one of the um officers in the um camps was a, a mutant himself and he became a mentor to magneto and stuff but magneto always held resentment towards that mentor for killing his mother and i would imagine too killing his his people you know his his jewish you know, and all that. And from my understanding, too, is the Magneto character has a very dark past and stuff and all that. To uh, Wanda and um, the speedster brother and stuff are Magneto's children. And then there's this, you know, implication, too, in the movies of X-Men and all that stuff that uh, another child of his was killed by people that were trying to hunt him down, you know, and all that. But, um, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. This seems to be very legit and all that. Um, I'm kind of disappointing because, you know, I, I could see a little bit of, uh, confusion in them attempting to, um, casting him in a different character and all that. I'm not entirely sure, but um, like I said, I like Michael Fassbender in general as a actor and stuff. I think he's very solid and stuff. Um, I would even mind actually seeing him as um, 007 and stuff in the movies and all that. I think he could hold something like that. But um, they're claiming that Magneto could be Doctor Doom. Um, the character is usually portrayed as a hyper intelligent, aloof, something Fastbender does well. Doom is played on screen by Julian McMahon in 2005's Fantastic Four. McMahon is a sort of a low rent Michael Fastbender, so bringing in a deep, real deep play, the iconic Marvel villain makes a lot of sense. You know what? I could see him doing very well with Doctor Doom. As if he has that. Uh, spirit in him to portray that. Julian McMahon did very well. And so I like Julian McMahon. He first showed up in uh, the TV show Charmed as um, kind of like an underworld uh, Lucifer type and stuff. And all that. Um, he's never, and then he had, uh, I think it was called Nip Tuck, I think on USA or something like that. But he's a very good actor. Um, I think he was just miscast, you know, and stuff. But Fantastic Four has never been able to really find its feet, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of people out there that have been very critical. Um, I might be a normie, but I've been very critical of Fantastic Four as well. It's an unfortunate situation. We know that Fantastic Four is going to be developed. It's the first, you know, superhero family and stuff. Where they go with it and stuff. I hope they do well with it. And Kevin Feige seems to have a good grasp on where he wants to go with the Fantastic Four and with them owning the property and all that. Now I think that they can make a more cohesion and more cohesive uh, Fantastic Four. But um, we do know, however, that uh, Marvel's Fantastic Four is being directed by John Watts. Watts is also directing Tom Holland's next Spider-Man movie, which means he's set to bring a major uh, player into the development of the Marvel Universe, bringing in big names like Michael Fassbender to play Victor Von Doom. Could mean we'll see the villain in other movies besides just Fantastic Four. Don't be surprised if he ends up being introduced in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness as part of the movie's 
situation with other Marvel cameos and with the situation with WandaVision and all that and how she's manipulating time and space and the universe and all that stuff. We don't know what's going to come. Um, it almost seems like there's an overall MCU type reset in the universe and stuff because, you know, they're talking about bringing back uh, Dr. Octo. They're talking about, you know, bringing back Tobey Maguire and all that stuff. So there's there's a lot in play and all that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to think about it, you know, but um, it's interesting and all that. Um, but yeah, I think that um you know, it's it's interesting. I I like Michael Fassbender like I stated. Um but that's going to wrap up this video. We're coming up on 6 minutes. If you like the channel, if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share. I'll be talking to you later. Take care everybody. Bye.